if you if you've read all the books on how to dance the salsa and you've memorized all the content but you've never got on the dance floor and done the salsa or you've never you've read the books on how how to tango but you've never actually practiced and got your body involved in doing the tango it doesn't mean that you're not a good dancer you may have all this talent to be able to do it but to learn the steps and to make it look natural and easy uh, and to begin to see that you're evolving your experience is fundamentally important to this work doing this work and taking the time out of your busy lives to become an experimenter to experiment to see if I change the way I think and the way I feel uh, is it going to begin to produce effects in my life and then maintain that state that energetic state independent of all the conditions in your environment in the conditioning emotionally that keeps you in the past or the expectation of the same future uh, in independent of certain habits and unconscious programs that that is the process of overcoming and to sustain that state every single day causes uh, outcomes to begin to mysteriously appear in your life and it is that mysterious appearance of those opportunities and synchronicities that transcend our limited understanding of possibility and so yes not everybody heals in this work we're learning the process and it's not enough to just send people uh, uh, love in this work love is the wind that moves the feather in one direction intention is what lands the feather on the coordinate on the person on the circumstance on the condition that you want to change 
And it is our intention that is a function of our brain, a function of our ability to hold an intent or focus. The emotion is the fuel that moves us closer to that outcome. And so it's important for you to understand then that uh, if not everybody heals in this work and it's a practical application of, of overcoming every single day uh, that allows you to become somebody else, uh, then it would be about becoming. It would be about you becoming a greater version of yourself. And I've said to so many people in this work, you know when you're changing in your life uh, and when you stop talking about it. And when you stop talking about it, it means then that you're engaged uh, uh, in the process. You are, you are in the river of change. Review and rehearse in your mind how you're going to be. And the act of rehearsing in your mind truly begins to install more neurological hardware. You're, you're reminding yourself and reproducing the same level of mind. Why? so you can step into that footprint in your day and modify your behaviors to produce a different experience. That experience produces a different emotion. And you're gonna to wanna to feel that emotion instead of the emotions of your past. And then teach your body what your future feels like. Start making those chemicals. Yes, I know it's not easy all the time to feel elevated emotions. Believe me, I've been at this a long time. But that's natural and normal to excuse yourself and say that I can. But what about the person who can teach their body emotionally what that future will feel like before it happens? And all it means is sitting down and using your imagination and thinking about how you would feel if your dreams came true. Now, if you could feel that emotion before the event occurs in your life, your body's so objective, it's going to believe that that future is happening to you in the present moment. And it's that elevated emotion that begins to draw like a magnet experiences to you. So then, yeah, I'm going to tell you some days it's harder than others to feel these emotions. I can tell you because I've done it enough times. But that's natural and that's normal. But what we're after is supernatural. And if you can feel the celebration, the gratitude, the freedom of expression, the joy, the love for life, and you can feel that ahead of the experience, not only is your body so objective that it's believing that future is happening to you in the present moment because it doesn't know the difference between the real life experience and the one you're fabricating by thought alone, but also if the environment signals the gene, and it does, and the end product of an experience in the environment is an emotion, you're beginning to select and instruct new genes and you're changing your gene expression in changing your body, upregulating genes for health. And if you can sustain that emotion all day long, you keep new genes on or new genes upregulated and those genes for disease downregulated. And if you fall from grace and you lose it, that's normal, that's natural. But supernatural is pausing for a moment and getting connected to the energy and the emotions of the future. And so going back to the basics, I, I, I go back to them all the time, but a good place to start is breaking the habit of being yourself. When you finish that and you got those meditations down where you break the habit of your old self and reinvent your new self and you're starting to see uh, situations in your life begin to shift without you having to force them or push them or fight for them or manipulate them or control them. Now you know that you're doing it properly. If that makes sense to you and you start seeing the magic and you want to move forward, then do the progressive workshop or or the intensive or getting more involved with uh, reading placebo. Uh, and practice those meditations. And when you finish that and you feel good about that, move to Supernatural. And there's plenty of practice with walking meditations, with teaching you how to open your heart, teaching you how to create more brain coherence, uh, demystifying um, trance and giving you the tools. And, and I want you um, to be on the exploration. I, I want you to be on this journey uh, uh, with all of us. I want to inspire you uh, to understand that many people want wealth, you know, and they want abundance. Uh, but if they were to see a video of themselves all day long, if they 
saw a video of one day of how they were living and they understood that their personality creates their personal reality and that person was living in lack and living in frustration living in the emotions of the past uh, that is not a person who is abundant that we generate abundance that's what we do we generate it it's an energy and then we study abundant people we study masters we study people that have done it and you'll see that they failed numerous times you'll see that they had a lot of trials they had a lot of betrayals they had a lot of loss it never stopped them from their vision and when they felt so worthy and so abundant that they had all their needs met they felt so whole uh, that it was no longer about their abundance it was about who they became when the abundance finally did come they wound up giving it away anyway because they knew how to create abundance and it's not a simple one two three process it's it's a constant state of change it's a constant practice and yes people have created a lot of wealth uh, in this work they've created a lot of abundance and when they've created it all they wanted to do was to give back uh, uh, and, and make a difference in the world anyway. So, our model is to take philosophy and to initiate it and to begin to master it. Uh, to learn uh, with our head, uh, to practice and apply with our hands and then to ultimately know it by heart. Uh, to go from mind to body to soul, from thinking to doing to being, from knowledge uh, to experience uh, and to wisdom. And, and the, if this was easy, uh, everybody would be doing it. Uh, but I can tell you that the people who stick with it, the people that take the time to fill their brain with knowledge, the right kind of knowledge, not superstitious, dogmatic uh, information, but information that, that is based in scientific reason. Not being a scientist, but understanding that science is the language to do it. People who take the time to fill their brain with knowledge. Every time they show up uh, and sit down to do the work, every time they make a choice uh, to do it, they're believing in possibility. People who don't do the work on a subconscious or unconscious level don't believe it's possible for them they they they, they don't know that um, they don't know that that it is possible for them and and uh, and I say to them if not now when because when you believe in yourself and you sit down to do this work you have to believe in possibilities and when you believe in possibilities my god you're gonna have to believe in yourself and that means you can't blame your past, you can't blame your ex, you can't blame your parents, you can't blame your boss. Sooner or later, whatever emotions we feel because of whatever experiences that happened in the past, sooner or later, we're gonna have to overcome those emotions and stop telling the story of the past and really start telling a better story of the future. And when you start believing in your future, more than you believe in your past. When you're more in love and excited about your future than you are romancing your past, then your body is going to wake up in the morning and it's going to want you to create. So, complete the quote challenge. Can you complete the inspiring quote and give us the right answer? If you can and if you can do it first, you're the daily winner. In the last video we were asking for two words. The quote was Joe Dispenza's and it goes like this. The moment you decide to no longer think the same way, act the same way or live by the same emotions, it's going to... The correct answer was feel uncomfortable. So the moment you decide to no longer think the same way, act the same way or live by the same emotions, it's going to feel uncomfortable. Congratulations to everyone with the correct answer. It wasn't so hard, was it? Today we are also looking for two words and the quote belongs to Dr. Joe Dispenza. It goes like this. You will learn that the true purpose of meditation is to get beyond the analytical mind and enter the... Write your answers in the comments below the video. Be the first one and win this challenge. What do you think about this video? Did you like it? Do you have any idea to suggest for the next video? 
If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell button so you don't miss my new videos and new challenges. Give your thumbs up if you like what we do. If you really like what we do here and want to support us, you can join our channel and our community for a symbolic fee and gain many other additional features. You can do that by clicking the join button next to the subscribe button. Or you can click on the link in the description of this video. Stay good and have a great day!